discuss about the uh, liver cancers and their management today. So, uh, liver cancers is one of the uh, entities that uh, mainly uh, occurs due different different reasons. Uh, and liver is one of the important organs in the body, and uh, we can't live without uh, having a proper function of the liver. So, what are the common uh, cancers which are uh, occur in the liver? So, we can broadly categorize them into two groups. So. There are primary liver cancers and there are secondary uh, cancers where that uh, it get deposited in the liver. We call that uh, metastatic liver cancers or secondary deposits. So I would uh, first describe about the primary liver cancers. The common primary liver cancers are hepatocellular carcinoma, uh, fibrolamellar carcinoma, cholangiocarcinomas, and gallbladder cancers. And in children, you can get hepatoblastoma. So these are the primary liver cancers. And secondary liver cancers, uh, where the primary is in a different site, like as example, a primary can be from colon or small intestine or rectum, and it can get deposited in the liver. And uh, other common sites where uh, you can get liver secondaries are kidneys and uh, lung, ovaries, and uh, womb. So in these places, you can get primaries which can get deposited in the liver. So. These primaries as well as secondaries uh, can be treated by surgery and uh, chemotherapy uh, effectively. And uh, now when we are planning, how are we going to identify a patient who's having a liver problem or liver cancer? So usual symptoms they come up with is loss of appetite, reason loss of weight, and maybe yellowish discoloration of eyes. These are the main symptoms uh, they come with. Sometimes the symptoms are more vague. Uh, if they have a primary in a different site, as example, if there's a primary cancer in the colon and they're present with uh, liver meds, so they can have symptoms of the primary cancer itself as well, like rectal bleeding. So likewise, uh, there are different symptoms uh, they can come up with. So uh, what are the things that we can do to identify whether they have uh, liver cancers? So basically we can do blood tests like uh, liver function test or liver profile, special tests like tumor markers where you can identify uh, certain uh, chemicals in the blood uh, which is related or which is secreted by the cancers. As example, you can detect alpha fetoprotein or CA19-9 to identify certain uh, liver cancers. Other ways of identifying a liver cancer is doing a radiological assessment. So that means, uh, in other words, we can do a CT scan or MRI scan to identify whether there are any abnormalities in the liver. So how are we going to plan uh, the uh, mode of treatment is depending on the liver quality, quality of the liver. If the liver is cirrhotic or it is very fatty, then it's very difficult to remove a large portion of the liver without uh, going into liver failure after resection. Basically, the liver resection uh, or removal of the cancer is mainly governed by the uh, liver tissue which is left behind after the resection. So it's a complicated uh, procedure. So we have to see the imaging, then we have to see the condition of the patient and we have to see the background quality of the liver. So after considering all those things, we can uh, remove uh, the relevant part of the liver. And there are different different op operations and there are different different techniques to overcome the possible complications that can happen after liver resection. Lanka Hospitals. Caring. Curing.